Hello everyone! Welcome to our special event. I am Antanas Shagrinda, the CEO of Teltonica Telematics, and I am thrilled to walk you through the exciting new chapter. This year, Teltonica proudly celebrates its 25th anniversary. Over these years, we have grown from a small, ambitious company to a global leader in IoT world. Nearly two decades ago, Teltonica ventured into the telematics industry with a product called T-Box 12 GPS. Probably the biggest tracker in the world. Crafted in partnership with Nokia, this device signified our first fleet management platform. In fact, at the very beginning, we were operating as telematics service provider focusing on local logistics companies' needs. First device was far from perfect. We had performance issues and supply concerns. The second platform called FM was born. Those GPS trackers had our own GSM module built in. Since we have solved stability and performance issues, we felt confident enough to start selling to other TSPs too. That's when our sales started growing very fast. Later on, developing new features like OBD and CAN data reading, we had to launch the third generation based on ST processor that we call FMA. Number of partners grew very fast, same as their needs and demands for new products and new features. Finally, in 2018, we have launched our fourth platform, the current bestseller, all-in-one FMB, and its LTE options that we call FMC or FMM. It is powered by MediaTek chip that encompassed GPS, GSM, Bluetooth, and microcontroller. However, we never imagined there would be so many lines of code or that we would have so many products in our portfolio. In 2017, having 10 different tracking devices seemed a lot, but now our portfolio consists of around 50 products. As we are always pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the telematics industry, today we are presenting the bright future of telematics, the FT platform, which will allow us and our partners to move even faster and deliver better solutions to the customers. I am pleased to hand over the stage to the visionary of FT Platform, Krzysztof Korbutowicz. He is going to share the story behind creation of the fifth generation FT Platform. Also, stick to the end and you'll have an opportunity to be the first in the market. Thank you, Antanas. Three years ago, in 2020, we clearly understood that big change is coming. LTE 4G will replace 2G in IoT devices market. We saw predictions of IoT analytic companies. The only questions we had, how quick it will change. Will it happen in 2023 or in 2025, or maybe even in 2030? Today we know that in some countries process of switching to 4G has already happened, but in some countries it doesn't even start. So we are somewhere in the middle of this process, and 60 to 70 percent has left to finish it globally. In 2020, we started thinking how to make our clients more happy with our new generation devices. We started building a plan what should be done. That was the year when we have initiated our new platform program, but it also was the year when pandemic started. Some products required total redesign, hardware and software because of shortage of microcontrollers and other components. What does not kill us made us stronger. We have overcome shortage, we did our best to help our clients to deliver the products. In 2021, we have started development of a new platform software with a small number of most experienced embedded programmers to build strong foundation on which we could grow all of the needed futures and prepare it for long-term evolution. Same year, we have chosen a new microcontroller for a new platform. Our previous platform of FMB devices was designed on chips released in 2016. Yes, they're still okay. They are way better than many of our competitors use. 
is still making its job, but microelectronics made a step forward from that time in terms of productivity and power saving. Our new platform comes with a new microcontroller based on 12 nanometers technology, which most production started 2022. New chip has two key advantages. It's much more low power, our customer will get new product with revolutionary lifetimes in ultra deep sleep mode. It has much more precise GNSS. Track quality of the new products will get at the next level. New platform gets new and modern embedded software architecture. We decided to change architecture because we have learned component shortage lessons. Our approach is to be hardware independent, much like an operating system, for example, Android which runs on different hardware models. We have designed our architecture to be able to change any component, even main microprocessor. So we'll be way more better ready when next chip shortage will come to be able to change any shorted component and deliver products to our customers. So the only question has left, how to deliver all of this software which was developed on FMB platform from 2016 and took more than 360,000 hours for our embedded programmers. The answer came when we started using Agile and Scrum development methods. We have analyzed what functionalities our customers are using at the most, and which are not used or used only a few devices. We have sorted all huge scope from most popular functions to less popular, divided them into parts that brings the value to our customers and a year ago, with the Bigger and Better Programmers team, we have started to develop the first phase of our big plan. Today is the day when we can reveal our first results, first new products based on new platform software. Let me introduce Antana Stankavichus, Chief Architect of Embedded Software, who will reveal you more details what we have done at first step and what will be done on next steps. Thank you, Krzysztof, for that inspiring story. Today is indeed a day of excitement and anticipation, and I'm thrilled to share more about what Teltonica Telematics has been crafting behind the scenes for the past two years. Our journey has been one of blending innovation and experience, crafting not just a product, but a revolution. From the very start of designing FT product, we recognize the crucial need to meet our customers' demands efficiently, reliably, and with agility. The constraints of our previous FM product architecture challenged our ability to swiftly address evolving market dynamics and changing client needs. As we got in on the development of FT product, we took these lessons to heart. The result? Teltonica Telematics multi-platform solution architecture seamlessly bridging the gap between hardware and software. This architecture is not just agile, scalable, and flexible. It is driven by our innovative Teltonica development framework, or in short, TDF. With TDF at Teltonica Telematics architecture core, we have built a robust foundation that empowers us to craft versatile ecosystem of hardware and firmware applications. TDF serves us as the main gear of our agility, scalability, and adaptability, making sure that our product evolves effortlessly with future improvements. From the very start, our focus is on you, our customer. We bring to you the most desirable features, driving behavior insights from overspeeding, harsh driving colors, trip tracking, and more. We included all essential tracking, system, network, and input-output settings for your convenience. Looking ahead, our roadmap sets the stage for excellence. Throughout 2023, we will introduce support for eye sensor and eye beacon Bluetooth accessories, expanding our driving behavior and vehicle protection features. As we step into 2024, prepare yourselves for can accessories, dead reckoning, 
onboard diagnostics and plenty of advancements. Thanks Antanas for introducing all those features. However, none of them will be working without hardware. So we are starting with change TFT with our best sellers, transitioning from the fast and easy category to professional grade devices. The first and most noticeable change of all our trackers will be in their design. Our new casing featuring dented edges simplifies the installation process. So let's dive deeper into more specifics of these updated devices. New platform FTC 92 series are based on our top selling FMB 92. It features 4G connectivity and integrates into vehicle with 5 pins, including one digital input, one digital output and one analog input, giving you flexibility for different usage scenarios. Next, we have the FTC 96 series. It's like the FTC 92, but with a robust IP69K casing, which gives you ultimate protection against dust, high-pressure water jets and steam. The new design language with more emphasized dented edges also ensures easy and secure mounting using zip ties. For those who don't need 5 pins, we introduce the FTC 88 series. This device with only 2 pins is also housed in a durable, waterproof IP69 rated casing, which allows this device to be mounted anywhere next to the vehicle's battery. This means you can rest easy knowing your devices are secure and resilient even under extreme conditions, minimizing the need for maintenance and replacements. Following that, in 2024, we are set to launch an advanced program device, which will offer more interfaces compared to the basic and fast and easy devices, and will feature Bluetooth Low Energy 502. In addition, first devices from basic and advanced programs will come with unique dead reckoning feature. This will let you keep tracking even in underground parking. Moving forward, we are planning to introduce an e-mobility device to the FT product family. This device will be a compact and efficient solution for e-scooters, e-mopeds, e-forklifts and other e-mobility applications. Together with it, the new OBD device will be launched and we will introduce all devices over time, including CAN, Autonomous and Pro trackers at the end. All of them will come in a new design, enhanced features and new functionalities, which will help you to be the first in the market. Thank you, Marius. There's a lot to unpack here. As you have already mentioned, these new devices have quite a lot of improved firmware features. I will introduce all of them and overview benefits that this new platform will bring you. At their core, usual trackers receive GNSS signals, calculate the position and forward them to a server. However, this receiving process is very complex and modern trackers have limitations. Our FT trackers have 1.4 times increased accuracy which allows us to significantly decrease tracking jumps. This especially is noticeable in the limited sky visibility when driving near large buildings. How did we manage to achieve this? FT platform is based on a new GNSS receiver and can receive and use over 40 satellite signals, which is two times more compared to our previous FMB platform that only used 18. Together, improved GNSS antennas, it ensures a more precise track of the vehicle. This guarantees accurate mileage, efficient account based on the tracking data, and minimizes confusion and discrepancies. All of our new FT trackers will have four times lower power consumption in ultra deep sleep mode, which decreases battery drain and increases device performance. So what does it mean for you? First, the device can work from a battery for a longer time, giving steady tracking data. Secondly, it helps the device to keep your vehicle's battery from running out unexpectedly. Sometimes, GPS trackers can use up the battery when the vehicle hasn't been used for a while. With this new platform, you won't need to worry about it because it uses four times less power in ultra deep sleep mode. Worried about your trackers getting dirty or wet for the first time ever, you will be able to choose trackers with IP69K certified casing providing ultimate protection. This is especially useful for trackers in agriculture and construction industries, where equipment often undergoes high-pressure cleaning. New trackers will have wide power supply range, 
that can work with all the vehicles including e-mopeds, e-rickshaws, e-bikes. Talking about industrial machinery, these trackers can be installed forklift, road sweepers, golf carts and any other vehicle where 10 to 90 volts power supply is essential. Future is even more promising. One of the most anticipated features, dead reckoning technology. It will allow you to estimate a vehicle's position based on the previously known position, accelerometer data and gyro sensor data without relying on GNSS satellite signals. It serves as a backup supplementary positioning technique, especially in areas where GNSS signals might be weak or obstructed. New platform and new devices reshape how we track today. In addition to what I have mentioned, we are also integrating Bluetooth 5.2 for enhanced capabilities of pairing with our eye beacons and eye sensors. Small but handy features such as factory fitted batteries for your convenience, as well as Type-C USB port and NanoSIM. But that's not all. There's much more to come. Don't forget, all of our devices needs configuration. And for that, let me introduce you my colleague, Ksenia Dole. She will tell you everything about our software solutions. In order to unlock the full potential of your devices, you need to set it according to client's needs. FT Platform deserves only the best-in-class configuration solution, Telematics Configuration Tool. It was hard to keep the big news to ourselves, but now I can finally confirm. We designed TCT with FT Platform in mind. It is a default configuration solution for our next generation of devices. While working on TCT, we always had user experience in mind. Thanks to you and your regular feedback, we implemented a wide range of innovations. I'm not only speaking about the design, I'm speaking about very practical updates that we've introduced. We implemented Device Wizard that walks you through main configuration settings. It is also a great feature to simplify the onboarding of newbies in telematics. Moreover, we added search field and filters to make sure that our users find just the parameters they need. Overall, uh, we improved user experience, aiming to speed up and simplify the whole process and for sure help you to avoid configuration mistakes. What is more, we implemented auto-update functionality. From now on, our users don't need to search through documentation to find the latest version of the configurator. Once the user runs TCT, it automatically checks for newer version available, suggests an update, and informs the user what improvements this version includes. No more switching between configurators, no more searching through Wiki. A single, automatically updated TCT application is your ultimate tool to set your FT platform devices. And let's not forget about other solutions we provide to our clients. Both existing and new generation of devices can be updated remotely with our management platform PhotoWeb. Following TCT release, we updated its user interface and now both solutions have the same design concept. It really helps you to navigate through the process where you have to switch between the two interfaces, TCT, where you create configuration file, and PhotoWeb, where you send this file to your devices deployed in the field. Unifying the design concept is the first, but not the last step for two solutions smoothly working together. In future, TCT and PhotoWeb will be connected even more. At the same time, we are working on PhotoWeb improvements specifically for FT platform devices. But that's a story for a different day. It's time to find out what fundamental value you get from FT platform devices. It's time to pass the word to Konstantin Kalmakov. Thank you, Xenia. My colleagues have already showcased the numerous features of the FT platform, introduced you to our new devices, and discussed our software solutions. Speaking 
about our current generation of telematic devices. I would like to highlight that we have sold more than 10 million of units over the last three years. This generation of products has already been in production for eight years. And we are successfully delivering IoT devices on global scale. By using the current product line platform of FMB FMC devices, we have increased the number of our customers more than three times. Now we are presenting a new platform based on your feedback and insights, which we combine together with Teltonica Telematics extensive experience. As a result, we prepared an innovative product to build our mutual partnership for the future. It will be a game changer for next six to seven years. It will help our customers to stand out and be ahead in competitive market. Also, it will set the stage for you to tap into a new telematics segments. We are not just launching a new product. We are opening up a world of opportunities for stronger collaboration. After this extensive overview of a new platform and its potential, I believe Antanas has some final words. A lot was said and introduced today. However, there is still one important thing to mention. Mutual trust and respect. It is the foundation of our partnerships, a vital force that has shaped us into the industry leaders we are today. I want to say thank you to all our partners who has always helped us grow and especially our long-term clients, some of whom have journeyed with us for over a decade. Every piece of your feedback, whether praise or constructive criticism, has been a learning curve fueling our growth. And remember, our sales managers are on standby, ready to address any questions you might have about the new platform. If you can't wait to test the capabilities of FT Platform, they are your go-to. If you haven't yet collaborated with us, simply fill out the contact form to kick things off. Don't miss this unique opportunity to be the first to experience the innovation. Lead the market and be ahead. Thank you for joining us today and goodbye.